because I'm not really. All right, Mr. Peterson. Hello? I can hear you again. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about the medic. <laughs> Excuse me. I understand. They, they, they're supposed to be getting you evaluated, Mr. Smith. If they haven't evaluated you yet, there's nothing I can really do. Yeah, no, that's fine. Then leave, then leave me here because take, taking blood to take from someone is uncool. And I, I'm, I'm done giving, I'm not, I never wanted to give blood. Okay. I, I need my blood. It's like oil in a car. I don't work well when they keep taking my blood. Okay. Well, let's hopefully they won't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like they'll, they'll tell them, you know, chill out a little bit with the, the psychiatrist. I know they like to make money, but I don't want to support the drug companies to, to bring me down in life. I'd rather just sit where I'm at, sleep well, eat well, and let my, let my health take care of itself. Very well. Okay. We'll see what the judge says. Okay. I'm not threatened here in this place either. Okay. I'm my I have a good roommate. They're, they're, he's very generous. I'm getting some coffee, which is good. Okay. Uh, I'm not in a rush, but I'm not usually a uh, bearded man. Yeah, well, hopefully you can get shaved soon. I've, I've asked, you know, they do know I want to shave, but I'm not persistent on anything. You know, I'm trying to be as good as I can, but. Yeah, well, that's what I, that's what I want you to keep doing. Don't cause any problems. Yeah, I, was, I was on the, I was on the, on the train. I was, it was hectic for a while because I, I actually thought my girlfriend was in the threat of being raped because I did go to the border a long time ago. I was very concerned, but I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure she's okay. So that was a big concern to me. So now I, I haven't been working. I don't have a paycheck. I do have a, I, I do have a disability play, uh, uh, a claim that they allowed me about six or eight months ago, somewhere around there, and that's my income. But when I can't slide my card in for my cash if I don't have one. Yeah, so, now you, you get paid. You get a, a check every month from disability. Excuse me. You get a check every month from disability. Yes, I. It, it, it's it's been it's been about six months. It's about nineteen hundred dollars a month. So I can survive. All right, Mr. Smith. Okay. Mr. Smith, hold on. Hold on, Counselor. You and your client are not in a breakout room, so I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Your Honor, we 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 are, we've we've done, Your Honor. We're ready. So yes, I I could I could survive on on a disability claim. They they allow okay. me thirty credits. Don't worry about that, Mr. Smith. Don't worry about okay. that right now. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. Hold on. Okay. Let's go on the record. In the matter of the state of Michigan versus Kevin Smith, two three one three five three. Next, I'm gonna, uh, Mr. Charles, I'm gonna have you put your appearance on the record for a moment, Mr. Smith. So be careful. Good morning, Your Honor. Omar Charles on behalf of the people, PA six three three two. Thank you, and Mr. Taylor, your appearance, please. Good, good morning again, Your Honor. Edward Taylor, P five seven one six six, appearing on behalf of Mr. Smith. This this is All the twenty right. seventh district, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. And okay. your name, please, that's, for the that's record. Good. <laughs> your name, Mr. Smith. State Excuse your name, me? please. State your name, please. Oh, Kevin Francis Smith. Okay, thank you. So today was the date scheduled for a a review because Mr. Smith was ordered to be referred for competency evaluation and criminal responsibility. What I'm going to state is that he's only going to be sent over for um the court's going to rescind its order regarding criminal responsibility evaluation as um, first the first step is competency examination. And also pursuant to MCR, I'm sorry, MCL 768.20A, the appropriate um, avenue for an assertion of criminal responsibility evaluation would be at the Third Circuit Court if Mr. Smith is deemed competent and bound over for trial. 
So, do you want the court's going to do. Okay. Um, yes, Mr. Taylor. It, yeah, what did you say? I didn't hear you, Your Honor. So may I say something? Uh, one more thing. Uh, hold on, hold on, Mr. Smith. Hold on. I, I do Mr. make Smith, computers. Mr. Smith, Mr. Computers. Smith, please hold on. Mr. Smith, just one moment, please. Just one moment. What was your question, Mr. Taylor? I, it's my understanding he hadn't been evaluated yet. Uh, so my, my biggest thing is I designed some computers, Lenovo. Small small letters are are there's there's a little R, a little L, and a capital L. Through this computer, the capital can hear me. They 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 see me and hear me. So I don't know why I just can't get a shade. I mean I don't what what their problem is at the, at the capital. You know right. they, there's a lot of issues, but you know I you know they, they get a shade every morning too. Okay, Council. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. Have you even been evaluated yet? Uh, evaluated? Well, I'm fine. I don't know what the evaluation is for. I could use a shave, though. I mean, if we put everything in the right perspective here, I could use a shave and a haircut. I mean, I've asked for one. Must have been. Okay. <laughs> All right. The court. The court will note that. Matter, um, I mean, I'm representing myself looking like a oh, lumberjack. Mr. Please. Smith, okay. Mr. Smith. Yes. Let's go ahead. Listen, Mr. Smith. Listen, please. I need you to not interrupt right now because I can't, we can't record more than one person, okay? The court's going to note that for on September 28th, the review was held and um, the defendant had not yet been evaluated by the Center for Forensic Psychiatry. We adjourned this matter to October 12th. October twelfth, the report was not yet received, and we're not even sure it was evaluated. Mr. Smith, please stop interrupting. And then we reset. Someone have egg in their face, and someone do something wrong with the medication that they're just trying to do something that they Mr. Smith, counsel, I just muted your client so that he's not interrupting the court. Mr. Smith. You got to be quiet, Mr. I, Smith. Mr. Taylor, I muted your client so that we don't have that problem right now. And so the court is going to um, note that I don't think that your client's been evaluated yet. So no, I, we, no. will, we will set this matter. We'll adjourn this to December 7th. That'll be a few more weeks. Okay, very well. And I'll try to get my investigator and find out what's going on before I, he haven't got evaluated, Your Honor. That'd be fantastic. Thank you. Okay, December 7th. And just so you know, um, 10 a.m. And counsel, I'm going to rescind the order <clears throat> regarding criminal responsibility. Thank you. That's beautiful. December 7th to 10. I got it. Hey, Mr. Smith, I'll get by and see you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Counsel, I, I muted him, so I have to unmute him so he can respond to you. Okay, so Mr. Smith, your attorney is going to try to get in touch with you, okay? Yes. Yes, but of course. Okay. All right, move quickly. Bonding conditions are continued. <clears throat> we'll see you All back right, on December, December 7th. December 7th at 10 o'clock. I got it. Thank you. December 7th at 10? Yes, that's our next hearing. That's perfect. I, I have all the time in the world. All right. Thank you, Yana. Thanks. Name for the record, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Detective Joseph Carl, why not police department? All right. Please raise your right hand. I'm the spur from the testimony box. Get this man the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. And Kelsey, may proceed on the word. Uh, Your Honor, on November 6th, about 10:50 uh, p.m., Officer Adam Grove was in the area of Second Evans, where he heard an extremely loud vehicle exhaust coming from. Uh, that appeared to be coming from the neighborhood between uh, Goddard and Evans. Upon further investigation, Off-Road observed an off-road vehicle with multicolored flashing lights traveling northbound Alfred at speeds that appeared to be much greater than the post of 25. 
Uh, Officer Bloom reported that he was able to catch up to the vehicle near Emmons and Electric in Lincoln Park where a traffic stop was conducted. Officer Grove made contact with the driver of the vehicle, later identified as the defendant, Michael Cash. Officer Grove reported that while speaking with the defendant, he was informed that a pistol was inside the vehicle near the uh, center council area. Officer Grove was able to observe a black pistol and pill bottle in the glove near the center council area. The defendant was asked to exit the vehicle where he, detained, where he was detained for further investigation and the firearm was secured. Officer Grove reported that the defendant did not did have a CPL, uh, a valid CPL. However, the pistol was unregistered uh, per lean SOS. Officer Grove uh, further reported that he recovered several <coughs> different pills from the defendant's vehicle, several of which were identified as acetophen, uh, uh, pardon me, Acetaminophen uh, hydrocodone. The, fe the defendant was then placed under arrest to convict to the station where he was booked and held. A match report was later uh, completed uh, regarding the defendant, and uh, it was confirmed that the defendant did not have a prescription for the, the acetaminophen hydrocodone pills. Thank you. Upon examination of the complaining witness, I find that the offenses charged were committed and that there's probable cause to believe the defendant committed those offenses. And counsel, your appearance, please. Good morning, Judge. Attorney Corey Westmoreland appearing on behalf of Mr. Cash. Thank you. And Mr. Cash, your name, please. Yes, my name is Michael Cash, Your Honor. All right. And counsel asks for the arraignment. At this time, Judge, we are prepared to waive a formal reading. My client stands mute. The court waives a formal reading. Sir, you have the right to have an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the court will appoint one to represent you. And in fact, you've had an opportunity to speak with an attorney today, correct? Yes. All right. You do also have the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You have the right to have a trial by a judge or by a jury. And you also have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing may be used against you in court. Do you understand those rights, sir? I can't hear you. Yes. All right, thank you. The court's going to enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf. Schedule this matter for probable cause conference on November 16th at 8.40 a.m. And the court has also signed a petition order for court appointed attorney for felony matters. And counsel asked to bond. Yes, Your Honor. I, I would like you to know that my client does not have any prior criminal history. Uh, he's not currently on probation or parole. He has no other pending matters out of any other uh, jurisdiction. He is a resident living in Garden City. He is self-employed. He owns his own concrete uh, construction business. He is a graduate of Olivet College, where he also played uh, football for four years. Uh, taking that all into account, Judge, I am strongly requesting consideration for a personal bond on his behalf as he did assure me that he would be appearing at all future court dates and has no history of absconding. All right, Detective Carr, as to Bond. Your Honor, um, considering the circumstances of the uh, the arrest and, and the incident, I'm gonna recommend a thousand dollar cash bond just to reassure the uh, defendant's uh, next court appearance. Okay, and sir, how long have you resided down, well, you're in Wayne County, but not quite wind up. But how long have you resided back down in Wayne County? I've been in Wayne County, uh, Garden City specifically. I've been in Garden City for probably probably close to 10 years, but Wayne County, uh, probably probably 15 to 20 years. I've lived there most of my whole life. I'm only 28. Okay. You're not, okay. Well, I, I guess I should clarify that. How long have you how long have you been back from college? Uh, I've been, as soon as I got back to college in 2016, um, that's when I pursued opening up my own business, uh, concrete business, and I've been in business ever since 2016, which is when I got back and graduated with a four-year degree. All right, and so you own the business? Yes. And sir, if you're tested today, what's in your system? 
Um, I have nothing in my system other than what I'm prescribed for. That hydrocodone, that Adderall that was found inside my vehicle, I do have prescriptions. I do have prescriptions for my doctor, and I do have bottles. Um, I do obviously accept that I should have had all three different separate bottles instead of just no, one. Mr. Cash, don't speak about the case any further. Uh, have you ever failed to appear in court, sir? Sir? No, no, Your Honor, I have not. Are you, are you currently on probation or parole anywhere, sir? No, Your Honor. Are you out on bond in any other jurisdiction? No, Your Honor. All right, given the nature of the charges and the felony, the felony nature and the um, the weapon that's involved as well, the court's going to order a judge. I, I would like to note also that Mr. Cash does have a, uh, a CPL that that is valid. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. The court is going to order a seventy-five hundred dollar ten percent bond. Or in the event you are posting bond, are you posting that seventy-five hundred dollar ten percent bond, sir? Will I be able to use the money that they had on me when I get picked up? I don't know, detective. Was that money? Um... Right, that's uh, that's been forfeited uh, at this point. Uh, the officer uh, decided okay. to uh, forfeit that money. Okay. So the court, I'm sorry, I'm just going to order in the event you do post bond, you're not to possess and consume any alcohol or drugs unless prescribed, you're not to possess uh, any weapons at this point or firearms. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. Love it. Go. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you.